I'm a very optimistic person. I believe that anything is possible. And I think that's actually really key to, to being an entrepreneur. In 2005, the UN Conference on Climate Change came to Canada, and it was hosted in Montreal that year. And one of my friends got to go. And by the time he had come back, he had some really eye-opening things to talk about, things that he had learned. You know, you get kind of scared. You're like, really? Holy smokes, Like, is that really going to happen? And then you make a choice. I'm either going to kind of disregard it and, and, and move on with life, or you, you really feel like, wow, I, I, a sense of empowerment. Like, I have to do something about that. That's so important. I'm not going to walk away and ignore this. We're in a class, and we're going to write a business plan, and we're going to create a product. Why don't we dedicate it to this? Educating and consumers about the need to live more efficiently. Maybe that's how we can find something that's more purpose-driven instead of just making, you know, a piece of junk that's gonna get thrown away in a year. When I look back for the last hundred years, the way that we interact with our homes today has been the same ever since electricity was discovered. So when I think about the home and all the different appliances that are in, they're all plugged into the wall and those walls all go to a central place, which is the breaker panel. The reason why we call it the product Neurio is because that, in a way, metaphorically, is like a central nervous system. We're figuring out, by looking at the total energy consumption with software, what the different appliances are in your house. The home can be interactive and it can anticipate what your needs are and it can self-learn and then tell you what you need to know before you've even tried to look for it. Like, hey, you're not home, but your oven is on. I should tell you this. You know, then we've just taken it to the next level. When we try to address energy efficiency head on, the unfortunate truth that we had discovered was that people aren't as likely to do something about energy conservation as much as they're willing to talk about it. So this is where I think business and entrepreneurship can be really powerful. You can accomplish multiple goals with the same thing. If you're going to be energy efficient, well, we're also going to have to cover saving you money, looking after your family, uh, giving you peace and comfort at home. We realized that if we could address those things and create something in which energy efficiency would happen as a byproduct, then we'd make people want to adopt you know, our product as well as address our goals. I think this is a really exciting time to be in business and to be an entrepreneur. There's so much more confidence in people who want to go ahead and start businesses. Because before it used to be, well, why would you do that? You know, and what makes you think you can? And I think what's happening now is it's transitioned to, well, why can't I? What's changed between now and before is that the more people take these kind of paths, less traditional, you know, more entrepreneurial, the more precedence you create for that, the more you inspire other people to believe that they can do it too.